Hello and welcome to another episode of To the Moon. My name is Martyr, and thanks for watching. Last time we played, we uh, just played our main characters, which is Dr. Watts here and Dr. Rosalie, and they basically told us we had to find out something about the old man, so we're going to go exploring, I guess. Let's do that. Let's go explore. Let's get over here. A painting with a lighthouse. But I think we explore. I don't know if this is going to add anything to us. I think we've already seen this. But I feel like, you know, let's go to another room. Get your ass over there, Dr. Watson. And let's see what we can find out about this old man, shall we? There probably is a little bit more to explore in that. Oh, this is his toilet. Oh, there's something glowing over here, though. I think that's the light bulb. Let's turn on the light bulb. Thank you. Okay, this is the toilet. Yeah, that's nice. Um, anything else in here to explore? Okay, other than the lights turning off and on, I think that's it. <laughs> Fancy toilet, sir. Alright, let's go over here. Yes, okay. Oh, let's look at the grandfather clock. We can look at the grandfather clock. Wait, come back here for a moment. I have something for you. Okay. Apparently he has something for us. Here, take this. Remote patient monitor. That'll keep you uploaded on jo Johnny's status. I hope there's no self-destruct button. I seem to have a knack for those. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in the menu. Okay, what does that mean? Is that good or bad? I don't know. Let's find out. Okay. Alright, well, let's go screw around. We have two days, and realistically, he's not going to die in two days. I mean, he's going to die eventually, but... Hello, little children. Talk to me. What you want? Show around the house. Hey... Your mom told, she told you to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe. I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah! Alright, let's talk. What do you punks want? We want one trillion dollars. Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, or that. Uh, what? There's a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Ma put it there to save for when we do chores. Get it for us and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well, uh, sure. You're lucky I don't want to walk up the stairs again or just tell your mother. The kitchen door is right next to the stairs. Now go. Wow. It's almost like some kind of terrible quest to get my night started. Yes, I know, game. I know how to control the guy. Thank you. You don't need to keep telling me. There's the candy cane. Are you kidding me? Even Doofus can't reach it? Are you kidding me? Received candy cane. Da -da -da -da. Booyah! It's like taking candy from an inanimate baby. Alright, let's look around here. Anything else in the kitchen? The kitchen has a hellish evil glow to it. I don't know what that's all about. It's kind of scary. So these people just wander the house around in the dark? Oh, weird. What the hell are you going? Dude, get your butt over there. Talk to the kids. Alright, kiddos. I was against a lot of odds back there, but I got the candy cane. It's probably a decade old and tastes like rubber. You can use it like a walking stick. Show me around, you little brats. Alright, where do we start? I know. There's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. Uh, what kind of funny room? You'll see. It's weird. <laughs> I like the kids more. We need to get the keys, though. The old man hid it inside a book inside in the study. Where's the study? Do I have, like, a party now? Tommy doesn't like turtles. Sarah... Aspiring professional ice cream taster, aiming for the top. Alright, so, um... Is this the study? This looks like... Oh, this is definitely a study. This is that book room. The key for the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Alright. Weird-ass kids. Weird kids, man. The Emperor's New Clothes. 
Put it, put it, well, let's read the passage. And the colors of that beautiful fabric, blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. The Pilgrim's Guide to the Origami. Origami? Uh, da, da, da. Wikipedia! Uh, where's the key? The are going to be completed in exactly four tunes. Blah, 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 blah. I, I like my key now. Dusk like the tail of a girl fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. Uh, maybe next time. There you go. That man, the man sure knows where to hide things. Alright, we got the key. Let's move along. Again, what's why are all the lights off? Tommy used to throw books at me and call it a book fight. Wow. Until one day I threw one back and he needed a bandit. He. <laughs> and then I bludgeoned him to death. He. <laughs> Alright, let's go. We can open the funny room in the basement now! What's in the funny room? I'm curious. This is the basement. We play in hide seek in here. Turn the light before you trip over something. Alright. Check the bookcase. Alright, what's in here? This chest is locked. Oh, I wonder if it'll be a plot item later. Anything over here? Oh, there's some boxes. The chest is locked. Boxes filled with colored papers. Unused fine china. Dusty books. I guess that's it. Alright. Very mysterious. Let's go and lock the door. The door is locked. Open the door with the room key. It's like a cave in here. Oh dear god! What the hell is that? A rabbit folded out of paper. A stuffed toy platypus? What a hideous little creature. Uh, poke it. Oh no! Sit up. A broken music box. Oh my god, this guy's a weirdo. I should bring that platypus to show Ava, sure. Apparently we're just gonna steal crap. Why not, right? What a weirdo. Did you see it? What do you kids know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There's more of them, actually. Where? <laughs> Inside the abandoned lighthouse, it's just beneath this cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys. Let me guess, you aren't supposed to go in there either. Hee <laughs> hee. Why would you never keep my locked cabinets around you two? So you wanna go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather windy outside, but say and wait for the machine, or you know what, let's go I'm kinda curious. Maybe we should wait. We should wait. No, let's, you know, screw it. Let's go investigate. Oh, the heck with it. I'm Dr. Watts. More wind can't stop me. Come on, let's go kick some butts. I hope I made the right decision there. Hope I'm not putting these children in danger or anything. Again, with the lights off, man. Li what? What's wrong with the lights occasionally, you freaking weirdos? I wonder what's with the ra No, but the, the rabbits will be blown away if I open the door. No, I don't want to do that. Oh well. Alright, we're jamming along here. Uh huh. There it is. We need to head south to the street and take the other path to get down to it, though. Yeah, I forgot my parachute. What other path? Maybe we should just forget it and, like, come back later, kids. Last thing I want is endanger these children. Ow, oh, balls. 
I love how Dr. Wasser starts walking around with children. Doesn't even question the fact that this might be slightly, you know, unethical. But apparently these kids are used to this type of crap anyway, so... Is this the right way, I hope? Am I going the right way? It's here! Uh, what? My novelty beach ball, I thought I lost it! Uh, oh. It's stupid anyway. Oh, I'll never lose it again. I'm gonna hide it, don't look! Uh, we don't have time for this. Okay, done. Right, let's just head to the lighthouse. I have to assume this is... It's smoking! Who's to tell me that crashed a car? That was, uh, was Dr. Rosaline, yeah. Oh, Dr. Rosaline, tsk, tsk, tsk. This man is completely irresponsible. Ooh, a squirrel! A squirrel! What the hell? Don't worry, kids, I got this. What's going on? Do I have to kick the squirrel's ass? Sunat? What the hell? A shoe! Loudest! This ends here! Ah! Stop it or we'll tell your animal- Shoot! We'll tell about you animal abuse! Yeah, she called the cops on you! Oh, come on. I wasn't actually gonna- Don't you like roleplaying? <laughs> I was like, what the hell? You should be ashamed of yourself. Let's name it Teddy. Okay. L let's just go. My whole night is ruined. Ah. So I'd lead a massive battle with a squirrel. I, I panicked, alright? Okay, let's check out this lighthouse. This is probably some sort of vital clue. Pretty. Very pretty. Probably gonna call it here once we get to the lighthouse. Wait, what's that over there? In memory of River E. Wiles. River Wiles, huh? Was she John's wife? Don't know. Come on, lighthouse right over there. I feel like investigating is a good idea because ultimately we're going to be exploring this guy's mind of like an Inception style, right? What in the heck? This is it! A multicolored paper rabbit. Hey, this wasn't here when we came last week. Uh, it wasn't? Oh yeah, Johnny must have come here before he fell ill again. Two colors, huh? My <laughs> little uh, do, Dr. Watts, we're all creeped out. Yeah, you are. Yep. What the? Someone's calling me. Ah, I should have guessed. It's Rosaline. Yeah, yeah, we're coming. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, let's head back. As for this... Received paper rabbit. I guess we did the right thing. Huzzah. Alright, I think we're going to call it there for there now. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see when we get the chance to save again. What the cactus were you doing? Burning ants with a magnifying glass. Using moonlight? Okay, I was taking a nap then. God, it's so hard to be a smartass nowadays. You're pretty good at being half of it. <laughs> Your helmet's on the couch. Get on it. We're going in. Alright. We're going to call it here, guys. I'm going to save. This guy's a little weird. I'm very curious where this is all going, but uh, as always, if there's a game you want to play, tweet at me at MartyrA2J, and next time I guess we jump officially into Johnny's mind here, so we will see you next time.